Eugen Bormann. Eugen Bormann was born on 12th December 1846. He was a famous German chemist. He created polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Along with his partner Carl Scotton, he was successful in discovering the scotton berman reaction. A synthesis of amides, from amines and acid chloride. He had completed his education in pharmacy from the University of Tübingen. He was later appointed head of the chemistry department in the Institute of Physiology located in Berlin. He died at a young age of 49 on 3rd November 1896. He began his career in physiological chemistry by studying the organosulfur compounds present in the urine and also identified the source of aromatic compounds such as tyrosine. He carried out a synthesis between theoacetals and theoketals. Other scientists popularly use this substance as anesthesia. He had been successful in proving that thyroid gland has an active indigent called thyroxin. He was one of the most successful and well-known scientists of his time. Ernest Rutherford The father of nuclear physics, Ernest Rutherford, earned recognition in the field of physics and chemistry for his model of an atom and the popular gold foil experiment. He discovered proton and coined the term artificial disintegration a process by which atomic nucleus was broken down by high-speed alpha particles. Winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in Chemistry in the year 1908, it was Rutherford who gave the term widely used in science, namely alpha, beta and gamma rays. Lord Rutherford Nelson was brought up in New Zealand and went to study at the University of Cambridge in England and performed the experiments after moving to the University of Manchester. He later mentored James Chadwick who discovered Neutron and won the Nobel Prize of Physics in the year 1935. His sudden death at the age of 66 years was a loss to the growing research in the world. He was buried near the Isaac Newton burial in Westminster Abbey for his contribution to science. Federico Fagan Federico Fagan was born on 1 December 1941. He was an Italian physicist as well as an electrical engineer. He was known for his designing that was related to the first viable microprocessor. He was initiator and CEO of Zilog, the earliest company exclusively committed to microprocessors. He was honored with the National Medal of Technology, the uppermost respect of the United States. It was conferred for achievements associated to technological development in 2010. Federico Fagan has received so many awards 
was yet some of them are like in 1988 marconi international fellowship award for his revolutionary help to the completion of the microprocessor a most important structure block of modern telecommunications gold medal for science and technology from the italian prime minister in 1988 in 2011 george r stibitz lifetime achievement award by the american computer museum for introductory assistance to the development of the current technological world together with the mos silicon gate technology that led to the awareness of the world's first microprocessor in 1971 Francis Beaufort Sir Francis Beaufort was born on 24th May 1774 in Navan Daniel Augustus Beaufort was his father who was the member of Royal Irish Academy Till the age 14 Francis spent his days in Ireland and Wales After finishing his school he went for higher studies But afterward he became amply self-educated to get associated with some of the best scientists He also get associated with mathematicians such as Herschel, Airy and Babbage. Francis Beaufort was associated with Britain's Royal Navy and also known as a renowned Irish hydrographer. The Beaufort scale that is used to point towards the force of the wind was formed by Francis Beaufort He wrote about the Beaufort scale in his journal Other than this Beaufort was also engaged with the French wars of religion in 1500 Sera Francis was connected to the Royal Academy Royal Geographic Society and Royal Observatory where he took some managerial action being a middleman of the scientists of that time After achieving so much in the year 1857 on 17 December Beaufort took his last breath at the age of 83 in England His tomb is still found in the church gardens of St John in London where his body is buried Thanks for watching Do like share subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse